here for over 20 years. Uh, I went to uh, high school here. Uh, a lot of my friends are here. I, uh, even though I work in Akron, um, this is kind of where home is for me. So very invested in this area. Uh huh. Yeah, and, and growing up, I I've seen Cuyahoga Falls grow and change since well over the past 34 years, and it's always getting better. It's always been good, and I think it's getting great, and I think that you see the potential of it becoming even more amazing than it already is, which is the inspiration behind the Falls Better Black. So it's not like we created this idea. Um, Better Block is a concept developed by a guy named Jason Roberts, and um, he's from Dallas, Texas. And the idea is to take a typically a block and um, that has a lot of potential and show the community and the city um, what it could look like on a really great weekend. So there could be anything from adding bike lanes, if that's what the community wants, to um, adding pop-up businesses and empty storefronts. including in our better block because the community through surveys said that that's what they wanted are things like uh, dog parks, uh, yoga classes right here on the, on the riverfront, um, beer garden, beer garden. We're going to have yoga, we're going to have a beach bar, uh, we're going to have, uh, you said bike lanes, we're going to road dive portage trail, we're going to have a pop up theater, um, lots of good food, dog park, I don't know if you mentioned that. Oh, the night market. The night market is actually a concept that I believe came from Southeast Asia, and um, I have heard two different reasons why it was the night market became a thing, because it's really hot there, so at night it's easier for people to come out and shop, um, it's not as intense, it's, the heat isn't as intense, and also because um, it's a great way for people to get food and um, things that they would need to buy at a market, not during work hours. So if people have to work, then they can go at night. So I know Cleveland has one, so we're going to try that out here on Friday night. Uh, one of the reasons, well, the main reason that Pam and I went to Ringgit Falls is we were both involved in the North Hill Better Block. I think that was the first one in this area, yeah, perhaps in Ohio. Uh, we were both involved in it, and we fell in love with the concept. Um, and uh, we both wanted to bring this into the fall, and we thought this area was perfect for a few different reasons. Um, I think this area is kind of, there's definitely some, you know, stores here. We have, we're sitting at Flurries right now, and I know it's a booming breakfast place and lunch. Uh, we have Cashmere Cricket. Um, and so, but it's also been an area that's not used as often as it's been forgotten, and there's so much potential. Abroad program when we were in college together, and then after college, we traveled in Europe a lot together. So, we got to see a lot of really cool historic streets in, the, in Europe um, everywhere from Paris to London to Greece to Italy. And so, we got to see um, what a really vibrant street looks like, and how there's merchants out on the street, and there's people walking, and people biking, and people talking. And um, in this area, reminds us of that without the things that I just mentioned uh, a lot of times, unless there's a festival down here or something like that. Um, so we just wanted to try and help show the city and the community what this area could look like if people were utilizing the space and the 